TikTok is one of the most capable to-do apps on the market. With excellent organization and an intuitive user interface, keeping your tasks organized is a walk through the park. Do you want to link your to-dos to Apple Calendar? TikTok's got you covered. The app costs $4 a month, $36 a year. The annual package saves you $12, which is three months free. That's slightly more than you get with most Get Things Done apps. Two months free is the standard. The app is available on all platforms, so whatever device you have, you can track and manage your tasks with TickTick. It has browser and email extensions, and it syncs across platforms. Start creating your task on your Windows PC, complete it on the go on the iPhone, and check it off on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. You're practically unstoppable. TikTok has plenty of theme colors for tuning its appearance to suit your liking. If you don't like any of the available colors, feel free to design a custom one, because you can. You also get plenty of app icon colors as well, which some of us love, others not so much. Do any of you guys ever play around with app icons? If you do, please let us know why. Is it for fun? Or um, there are the reasons you'd want to change the appearance of an app icon, besides the fact that the option is available, you know? Creating tasks in TikTok is simple. To-dos can be time-based with a start and due date or location-based. The option for that is difficult to find and even if you pin it in the app, there's still too many steps to add a location-based reminder. Let's hope the developers can make it easier to locate in the future. A list task duration is much more straightforward and adjusting it is fun. It makes you feel like a child again, and that's always a good thing, right? If you desperately don't want to forget important tasks, you will appreciate the multiple early reminders that you can set in TikTok. This, of course, can be a problem if you actually want to forget the tasks. Repeat options are plenty in TikTok, and chances are you'll find the exact kind you want. How you end the repeat is also flexible. What more can you ask for? I rarely attach items to my to-dos, but I appreciate having the option to add PDFs, audio files, and videos, especially PDFs. Those are the ones I'm likely to attach if I ever decide to do that. But each file must not exceed 20 megabytes, which for a paid app might be limiting. Usually apps give you up to 100 megabytes. Even then it's small. So 20 megabytes limits the kind of files you can attach because videos tend to be quite large. The app has decent natural language support for creating new tasks. You can type phrases like dinner tomorrow at 7 p.m. to create tasks faster. TikTok can add the task, the time, a reminder, and if it repeats every day. It's supposed to help when you don't have much time on your hands, but is that really faster though? I mean, instead of just creating a task and setting it up directly, does natural language actually help? Or is it more effective when you actually just dictate the tasks without opening your device? I don't know. If you use natural language support, do let us know if it helps you work faster and how you've managed to do that. We're curious to know. TikTok has several ways to display your list. There's the simple list with all your tasks, or you can choose to show your task notes instead. When you have a lot of notes, the notes list is a great one to have. I've always liked the board view. It is visual and makes your to-dos easier to organize in sections. It's my default view in any to-do app. I'm always happy to see the board view in a to-do app. Timeline views are rare to find in a to-do app. This is probably the first time we're seeing it, so 
If you've been searching for an app that supports it, how about giving TikTok a try? It has a seven-day trial. Hopefully, that's enough to figure out if you need the app in your workflow. Groups are useful in organizing lists in a to-do app, even when they don't support levels, as is in the case with TikTok. They're the simplest and most basic way to organize your lists in a to-do app. Custom smart lists are also hard to come by in a get things done app. Another gym in TikTok. We've only seen them in Apple Reminders so far, so it's quite impressive that TikTok has them. You get a lot of options to filter your smart lists, which is brilliant. It also has advanced filters to specify the exact task you want in your smart list. If you work with smart lists, you won't be disappointed with TikTok. Subtasks can be as detailed as the main task and they support hierarchy levels, which is awesome. So naturally, we'll have the ones in TikTok. The app supports Apple Calendar integration and you can edit the events without leaving the app. It also supports many calendars like Google Calendar, Outlook and more. And you can also import tasks from Apple Reminders into the app. So switching from Apple Reminders to TikTok is very easy. If you need a to-do app that integrates with other apps very well, look no further. I personally tend to prefer to-do apps that integrate with Apple Reminders and Apple Calendar because I use those apps a lot. You know how we feel about completed tasks. They must be struck out. But honestly, that is just a preference and we love that. TikTok recognizes that. You get to choose if you want to strike out your completed tasks or not. Like we said earlier on, the most capable to-do app we have tried so far. We've never had an option to choose and we're just excited to have this option in a to-do app. As if TikTok was not impressive enough, you get a timer, stopwatch, and habit tracker. By far my favorite feature is the ability to choose how our completed tasks are marked. We've talked about how they should look, but we've never had an option to choose. That alone is worth something. We can collaborate even. Backup is not just a challenge with TikTok, but every to-do app we've tried so far. Still, we would love to see it in the future. For $4 a month, better still, pay for a year and you'll get it for $3 a month. TikTok is an app that's worth looking into if you haven't found a to-do app you like yet. We might compare to Apple Reminders just to see if we're ready to make the switch. Great app. Absolutely great app. Until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.